Live from Las Vegas, it's theCUBE. Covering Dell Technologies World 2019. Brought to you by Dell Technologies and its ecosystem partners. Welcome Her back to boy. Dell Technologies World. <laughs> Lisa Martin with Rebecca Knight for the first time hosting together. And I have to say, this is probably one of my favorite times of Dell Technologies World because we have dogs on the cube. <laughs> Joining us from Michael Angel Paws, we've got Alicia Halloran. She's back, she's a cube yes, veteran. Yes, I was here last year. You're a volunteer. Really Here's Odie and Gracie. And holding Gracie is Denise Michaels Cox, Global Experiential Marketing from Dell Technologies. Denise, thank you for joining us as well. Certainly. There's Thanks a lot of female us. power on there the is. cube right there now. Is. It's awesome. <laughs> look at Odie, he's just letting us have our moment. Little the lone alpha male, male just right. hanging out so, with us. Alicia, it's so great to have you back on yes, the cube. Really fun. Uh, we have enjoyed being, having are set next to Michael's yes. Angel Paws again this year. It's yes. so great to hear barking. Yeah. When you're talking about technology, <laughs> I think I'm at home. So true. Talk to us a little bit about Michael's Angel Paws, your experience as a volunteer yeah. at ODA and yeah. Gracie do. Well, first of all, Michael Angel Paws um, is, was a it's a nonprofit established in Las Vegas, and they have three main programs. They have a community dog program, which really strengthens the bonds between people and their animals, and they have a therapy dog program, which is what these lovelies are part of and we just love to bring joy and delight everywhere we go. And then they also have uh, service dog training, which allows people with autism or with, um, if they have mobility issues or any kind of medical alert. So that's the main uh, process of uh, what Michael Angel Paws does. Um, we are volunteers with them. We have loved being volunteers with them. Uh, Odie is blind and we managed to get him through the therapy dog program and we love to come to conferences and just really help people feel better. And Gracie, of course, is just a little beauty, so yeah. So Denise, tell me a little bit about why Dell has partnered with this, with this which is a great organization, yeah. and why might people need to feel better when they're at a tech conference <laughs> and maybe related well. to this morning's keynote address with the anxiety sometimes <laughs> that technology incites. Well. We do like to say we think of everything at, for Dell Technologies World. So what is one more thing, how to surprise and delight our customers and our attendees here. And also it's really important for us as Dell Technologies to give back to the community. And so it's a great opportunity to give back to a great organization like Michael's Angels Paws and surprise and delight our guests with the with therapy dogs to pet. Because you know, when you go to a conference, when you travel, you miss your pets a lot. A lot of people miss their dogs. And so we're here for them to get a dog fix or maybe just come in for a few minutes, distress, uh, pet some dogs, come out happy. Everyone who walks in, walks in smiling and walks out smiling bigger. So it's a great place to um, work here too. Yeah, we were hearing last year that Michael Angel Paws exhibit, exhibit was <laughs> one of the most popular mm -hmm. places for you know, 14, 15,000 people to congregate. Are you? Yes. Did you experience the same thing this year? Yes, yes. definitely, definitely. It's for been sure. really, it's been really busy. Like these little ebbs and flows. Like you just catch a breath, and then 25 people are there, and they're all like, "Oh my God, dogs!" Mm -hmm. It's so great. It's so yeah. great to see people relax yeah. and be able to kind of sit down and, and take a breath which I think is really hard in a conference like this. It is, and it's also, as Denise, you mentioned, it's nice to recognize that they're all people. They all have families, a lot yes. of them, whether they're pet owners or not, it's just a nice way to just sort of get back to reality, maybe come down from the cloud. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. And actually have a little bit of something that just brings a, a, just a, a smile to your heart. Mm -hmm. Yes. Bring some joy, even without technology. So we know the humans love it, but here are the pups, how are they doing? Because as mm. you said, they usually are going to hospitals, they're usually right. going to old age homes. Right, and, right. And, and, and yeah. how are they handling this? They handle it amazingly. They love to come. You know, the energy is very, very different, so they can be a little bit more rambunctious. They can move a little bit more because they're not working with somebody that is in hospice or you know has an illness. So it's people who are exactly feeling sad that they don't have their animals with them and they get to get cuddled and squeezed and they love it. So it's a wonderful experience for them. They, they love to do it. She kind of looks a little sleepy, but that's kind of her way of being. Like, She's she a just princess. Melts I mean, look at her. Arms. Yeah, <laughs> she just loves it. What is some of the reactions, Alicia, that you've experienced out in the field, like for example, in a hospital or a hospice organization or environment yeah. that you see patients 
Oh that yeah, they reactions. light up. They light up. I mean, when you go to a hospital, people are in a hospital, and so everything is very regimented. They're wake, woken up in the middle of the night to do whatever needs to be done, and people are kind of like talking about them, but not actually to them, and that animals don't differentiate. They're just like, we want to sit with you, and that's what we're going to do. We're just going to sit with you. And so it gives them a moment to just relax again and not have to think about when's the next blood draw, when's the next thing that's going to happen. So it's a really wonderful, relaxing experience for them. It's, 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 and, and the joy that it brings. And I think there's a lot of healing in that, that when you feel good, you feel good. You have the ability to heal better. And so I think therapy dogs are so important in, in, a, in a hospital environment. And this is a two-step sort of certification program. They become a therapy dog first and then they would become a service dog or can they go into a hospital as a therapy dog? You go in as, as a therapy dog, yes. So that's, that's the work that these guys do. Service dogs are more about if you have something, an illness or that you have some mobility issues that you need balance or you need, um, if you have PTSD, that you need to have a dog with you all the time just to kind of keep you, keep you together, which I think everybody understands that it feels good to have an animal with you. So these guys are therapy dogs, which is not the service dogs. Got it. Yeah. Denise, this is your baby, this, this, <laughs> this show. Congratulations, it was a great show. 15,000 attendees, yes. uh, so many partners, so many, and a lot of great energy and a great vibe. Can you just talk a little bit about what this year's event, this, this Dell World Technologies has meant to you? This has been a great event every year. It's a great event, but this year, the energy is go. even higher. It's so positive. It's always really positive to be here anyway. And so many more people this year too. It's just a constant go-go energy all the time. And it, it's wonderful, it's so fun. I love being part of the organization and proud to be able to say that I helped in some little bit put this together. And so, um, I'm just happy to be here and proud to be a part of Dell Technologies too. So Denise, before we let you go and get some well-deserved rest, <laughs> <Yes. laughs> this is also a charity and a philanthropy that's close and to Michael Dell's heart. Can you explain a little yes. bit about that and how he helps veterans in this way? Well, um, how Michael helps veterans or Michael's Angels Paws helps veterans? because they both do. Michael, let's talk about uh, Michael Dell first since oh. this is kind of his thing. <laughs> okay, yes, yes. <laughs> well, it's um, like for Dell itself and Michael Dell too, it's very important to him to give back to the community as is important to us all and that's a big part of what we do and this in contributing to that. Now, contributing to vet veterans like these guys go to vet veteran homes and help with them. Now, um, Dell itself and Michael Dell also contributes to many veteran organizations helping veterans with PTSD and we saw that last year at Dell World, uh, talking a lot about um, working with veterans, working through PTSD with the art, art for veterans. And so there's many organizations like that that we work with, our Dell Technologies and Michael Dell works with in that to, to give back. Excellent, so we heard that maybe there was some support, financial support for dogs that go through mm. the service training to become service dogs for veterans, which is a pretty, extensive yeah. process and quite expensive, so yes. nice to hear how much it, it really does mean to the heart of Dell. Denise, Alicia, thank you so oh, much for pleasure. joining. Thank you. Rebecca, I mean, and thank of course, you. Odie and Gracie. Yay! Yay. You're Yay. already Those cute faces. alumni. <laughs> they are. Thanks, guys. You <laughs> certainly so brought a smile Good. to my heart, and I got to go home to my <laughs> dog before she's yeah. like, <laughs> right, she's jealous. Like, exactly. <laughs> for Rebecca Knight, I'm Lisa Martin. You're watching theCUBE live from Dell Technologies World 2019. Thanks so much for watching.